Let's take a quick look at this photograph, which you saw me making in my last entry. One of my least favorite things about viewing photographs online is that you just can't see the detail as well. You can't see the individual strands of Danny's hair. You can't see the ripples of the water reflecting off of Chelsea's face, which is why I like zooming in on these videos. It's not a print, but it's not bad. A viewer commented a couple weeks ago, sorry, that he'd like to see some of my vlogging gear. So uh, we'll take a quick look at what I've been using. What you're looking at here is a 5D Mark IV, which is what I use for usually just my studio stuff or the high quality recordings. And it's a, it's a nice camera and I like the 24 through 105. The Moment Wide Lens is a new addition to my gear kit. And I never thought I would say this, but I love the thing. It's spectacular. The glass is amazing. The build quality is great. The bayoneting system on the phone case is wonderful. The footage from the Moment Wide lens looks wonderful. I have an iPhone 7 Plus. New iPhones are just around the corner. This is a Moza Mini Me. I have done a few modifications to it to accommodate the Moment lens and also my microphone, which I accidentally left at home and I'm currently recording on. And speaking of the microphone, here it is. Here's the box. I have it clipped to that binder clip on the side, the, on the back of the Moza using a tripod spigot and a binder clamp. I'm sure I can come up with a better contraption, but this seems to be working. I have to give this one a thumbs up because from what I've read, the other gimbals don't support that much weight very well. I got this little phone tripod mount and uh, I also put it on the feet of the Moza Mini Me that I'll show you in a second. This is the cam lapse for basically an egg timer for motion time lapses. It goes up to 60 minutes and it even supports bigger cameras than my phone. I use it in conjunction with the little phone mount as well. And there are those feet from the Mini Me which I use in conjunction also with the with the mounting plate. I guess I could also use that with a cam lapse for hmm. This is a random shotgun microphone I've had for years, but it seems to be doing a good job. This is my Power DeWise lapel microphone, which I got for 20 bucks on Amazon. I love this little lapel mic. It does a great job, honestly. And I use mostly Manfrotto tripods. I did get this Pergear tripod head from Amazon for super cheap, and I've actually been very impressed with it. And my light is this Yongnuo YN022, which uh, I think is great, but it's been really great for my studio stuff, for lighting books and things like that. And this is a little EOS M I picked up. I used it for my first entry, but I haven't really used it since then, but I've got a plan for it. I edit all my video on Premiere Pro CC, and I record my iPhone video, mostly on Pro Movie Plus. I use Notability to do visual notes, and I use Bear to write my, what you might call, scripts. I also use the voice recorder for things like this. It's pretty great. And there you go, that's what I've been using. Hopefully this was, hel uh, this was helpful. And by the way, I'm gonna start doing these midweek updates on Thursday morning because the turnaround time from Sunday evening is just killing me. And I wanna be able to do this consistently well and not just consistently. Please click subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Don't forget to click like, it all helps me a lot. I super appreciate it. I had a nice little um, micro rush of subscribers the last week or so and it is super cool. It energizes me, it keeps me going. And I will see you Monday morning. Thanks.